discipline, dedication, and the audacity to dream big. From the high-strung teenager who was constantly getting into trouble to a contender for gold representing his country, it's safe to say that the unlikely ascent of Bermudian boxer Adrian Roach has defied the odds. It all began six years ago, when thanks to his father's intervention and an after-school program, the then-troubled teen was introduced to the sport that would alter the course of his life, a seeming date with destiny for which he is eternally grateful. Without boxing, I would have been on a very different path in life, so I'm very thankful for boxing. Um, it's definitely provided me with different opportunities. The discipline of the sport definitely helped um, transfer into other aspects of my life, whether it's um, um, social or like, you know, career-wise, things like that. Um, I'm disciplined with it. Um, my temper is like, a lot more mellow. And it kind of just helped overall progression of my overall character, you know? So it's just like boxing, just all around, kind of just mellowed me out and like smoothened up the rough edges. Today, Adrian is part of the new wave of boxers that are breathing new life into the sport on the island. In terms of skill set, it would seem Adrian packs quite the punch. But while his boxing talent is undeniable, he's the first to point out that it takes more than talent to reach the pinnacle of the sport. A lot of preparation goes into it, whether it's strength conditioning, waking up early mornings, running, sparring, big work, mid work, it's, it's a lot of grit, a lot of grinding. I'm, um, but it all pays off, like it's, it's, it's hard, it's really hard. And to stay on course is very hard as well, but you know, when you have the proper motivation and the right reasons to stay on course, then it becomes a lot easier. And the reward is always, you know, the best part about it. And as part of his quest for success on the world stage, the controversy boxing gym alum has made a few tweaks to his strategy. For starters, he's moved up a class from 64 kilos to the 71 kilo class. While that adjustment might prove catastrophic for some, Adrian is confident he won't need to punch above his weight. I never get into a fight feeling like I'm unprepared. I leave everything in the ring. Um, I prepare like extremely hard, leave no stone unturned, and I'm, um, I put everything into every workout. So every time I go away to represent this country, like I, I put it all on the line. Mentally, I, I don't ever go into a fight thinking that like you know like I don't have a good chance at this. Like I, I know that I prepared really hard for this and it's gonna take a really, really good performance for somebody to come out on top of me. When Adrian next steps into the ring, part of his strategy will be to use the island's status as a relative unknown in the boxing world to catch his opponents off guard. And although he's fought for Bermuda on the international stage on multiple occasions, the novelty clearly hasn't worn off. Well, I'd say my biggest accomplishment is just representing Bermuda in itself. Because when I, when I started this, like, I never would have thought I would have got this far. It was really just a thing I was doing after school. I, I didn't think it would have got this far to this point. And now that he has reached this point, he's ready to leave it all in the ring in his fight for glory and the gold. Julie Matthews-Borchard for Bermuda Broadcasting News.